And another good afternoon. Welcome to AM 1410 WRMN in Elgin's very own edition of the best show on the radio, the Laura Dion Jones Show. Hi, Laura. How you doing? I'm wonderful today. Now that I'm here. Yeah. This is safe and sound. Yes. This is the fastest hour of the week. It's it faster is. than an hour at my shrinks. It always is. And this is the show that lets you lose weight fast, get rich quick, and hey, be like Laura, look young forever. Oh, thank you. It's the Laura Dion Jones Show. And this, I'm, I'm just making a prediction, this might be the, the last nicest day of the year because it's getting no. to the end of October. I just have a bad feeling that it's going to be below 50 next week. Just a feeling I get. I, I'm not the weatherman, and nor do I play one on the radio, but I just have a <laughs> feeling it's, it's going to be the last nice week of of the year. Then everybody better get out and do some cardio before the winds hey, turn. Hey, there you go. I like how you turn this all into cardio. Commit to get fit. Listen. And I like how you look at right at me when you say cardio, too. Well, that's because I have in my hand a gift for you. No. And uh, first I want to say in the studio with us today are Mike Hunziger, my pal, and Cole Elgin's biggest loser. I have a gift for him. Jeff Myers is my co-host, and Julie Belanger is our YouTube camera girl today. So... Please pass this over to Mikey. This is a gift for really? him. Really? Yeah. You can open it. I'm sorry I didn't uh, wrap it, but I ran it's short wrapped. of time today. It's wrapped in a white cardboard box. Is this a pedometer? Well, open it. I'm opening it. I'm asking it. Well, first I shook the box to see if I could tell what it was. Shook it. Sounds like... It's a pedometer. Ooh. It's a deluxe pedometer with the leash. You're going to have to show me how to use it. There's instructions there, but I will show you how to use it. And i got to tell you something that keeps track of seven days. Yeah. So even if you're too lazy to write in your wellness journal, your fitness journal every day, the steps equal miles that okay. you are going to okay. start taking, uh -huh. that's going <laughs> to tell you. You think, oh, I walked three miles today, and you look at your pedometer, and it's like 2,100 steps. I don't know if, you've, if you know how many people you've made happy today. Me, my wife, my daughter, my doctor, my nutritionist, and my, uh -huh. my physical therapist. Uh, six people just off the top of my head. Jeff Myers as well is real happy to see me with a pedometer. Did you include me? And you wear well, that every single day? I will wear it. I okay. wear it every single day with a smile on my face. You know something? We have such a jam-packed show again today. Uh, this Seriously, you'll see. So uh, let's cut right to the chase, and today's show is brought to you again by... We want to say hello to good folks. Larry Allen, you know, he's put the, uh, the machine away, the seal coating machine, put away for the winter. But we appreciate all his participation here on the air. And think about it, Larry. Throughout this season, 847-980-6914. That's Larry Allen Seal Coding. He's been so good to the show, hasn't he? Yes, he has. And we've enjoyed that very much. Well, let's, let's talk about the Taylor YMCA while we're here. The Y has parent, child, preschool, youth, and adult swim lessons, as well as private lessons. Dance and swim team registration open and join at any time during the season. So don't be shy and jump right into some exciting things at the Taylor Y. How about your posture, my dear? Show yes. your, we got a big room here, big class, okay. big cast of thousands. Now, big round of applause from the, everybody here, everybody. All right. I know, I like a full house in the yeah, studio, you, and it you, drives you. George nuts. You talk about what's the weight limitations for this room. That's what I want to know. Claire, forget about you, young Mike. Claire this plane ain't taking off anytime soon. 2001 Lockett Avenue. Okay, that is yes. the uh, lady right there, Claire Reyes. She's taking care of your, your posture, and your posture speaks for itself. Just watch it on YouTube. So say hello to Claire. Call her up if you like, 847 888-9988. Thank you, Jeff. And we'd also like to thank snobhounds.com, a canine clothing company that's think Nike meets Donna Karen, but for canines. And KC Tool, an automotive specialty tool company available through your Snap-on mobile tool distributor. The Coojas walked in the studio. Hey, boss. <laughs> and our special in-studio guest today are Herb, Herb Gross, president of the Elgin Theater Company, and along with him he brought... Dennis Stewart, who is Mr. Potter, and we will tell you all about that shortly. And uh, Mr. Potter and George Bailey are going to do a couple of lines from Guess What Play. And Solange. Sial. Sial. Like Christian Dior. Like Christian. Oh, Sial. Like Dior. Solange Sior. Well, that was kind of Italian French. <laughs> Solange. <laughs> Executive, that's me. Half, I'm half Italian and half French. Don't laugh. She has, she's from Montreal. My ancestors are from Montreal and from Italy. So there. Okay, where was I? A Solange. Uh, Executive Director of the Elgin Opera to talk about uh, their spectacular benefit S costume party. S spooktacular. Spooktacular benefit costume party this coming Sunday at Villa Verone, among other things. And she brought along with her one of my favorite rock climbers in the universe, <laughs> Karen Schock, Mayor Schock's wife. 
um, who's going to tell us all about Elgin Opera's school outreach program at Lars Larkin High School, uh, Romeo and Juliet sort of theme performances like West Side Story, and then in the second half, we'll hear from a new and good friend of mine, Diana Ortega Arif. Executive Director of the Elgin Youth Leadership Academy, and I'm real excited about all of this, so please stay tuned. And again, we've got an exceptionally jam-packed show today. Uh, and guess what else today is, quickly? Anybody? It's, uh, it's the 293rd purple, day of the year, Yeah. okay? And it's uh, 72 days left, so if you're going to get a grip and really make a commitment to get fit, mm -hmm. talk about weaving everything back into fitness, mm -hmm. you got 72 days before New Year's Eve, so we wow. better get on the stick. We have very little hope, because he said there's no good weather days left in the year, so <laughs> yeah, that's, already no, I'm feeling We're going to talk next week about winter walking and war winter walking wardrobe. There's no such thing. There is. No, I've no. I've designed there's a whole it. calendar, I saw it. It's okay, you know what, and quickly, here's one for Jeff. Uh-oh. Uh, a baseball with a cork center was used in a Philadelphia Athletics game managed by Connie Mack and the, uh, and the Chicago Cubs managed by P.K. Wrigley played for the championship. Philadelphia won the series four games to one. I should have made you guess 1929? that. 1929? 1910. Oh, I did that. Ah, oh. We stumped the pro. <laughs> <laughs> we well, stumped well, the pro. Yeah, that's, that's good. And, 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 and speaking of global warming, in uh, 1956, um, Esperanza Station in Antarctica, the Antarctic record was 58 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 15 degrees centigrade, which in 1956, mm -hmm. that was huge global warming. Mm -hmm. So anyway, there's a whole lot more Sugar Ray Robinson, but you know what? We got to race on, but happy birthday, Bella Lugosi. I come to get your blood. I <laughs> want to drink what, your blood. Blood. What must I do, a song and dance? Blah. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> Will, right. Will Rogers Jr. Ah, I'm a storyteller. Yeah, he wasn't as good as Dad. Mickey Mantle. Oh, he's gone now. Mickey, born in Oklahoma. Keith Hernandez. Keith Hernandez, Cardinal. And a Met. Um, now yeah, an announcer. And Snoop and Doggy Dog. And Snoop Doggy mm -hmm. Dog's birthday. We, we like play that Snoop. music. Mike plays his music in the morning. Yes, I do. Well, we like Snoop. You do? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like Snoop. He's, got a, he's, he's a got a good personality. His real name but. is Clevis. <laughs> Clevis? Butthead? No, <laughs> <laughs> Snoop Doggy Dog's real name is Clevis. Seriously, perfect. They're on a first name basis. Yeah. So, okay, listen. Yeah. Quote of the week. Uh oh, well, Here the, we go. the mayor's wife will take care of this. Who she will, said, she'll know. the minute you settle for less than you deserve, you get even less than you settled for? Go ahead, my dear. I, you know, it would, it would be a tough one. I, How about if I give you I'll her, give you. I'll tell you it's a her, and here's her initials, MD. Mar Marlena Dietrich. Ooh, that's good. Close, but no cigar. Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> <laughs> now I forgot who it is. <laughs> Maureen Dowd. Oh, well, a bigger name Maureen we couldn't Dowd. have come up you with. You know what? I don't always agree with her viewpoint, but I do like her writing. She's very acerbic like I am. I would love to meet her in person. Maureen? It's the only show you need a dictionary before you leave the room. You're listening to the Laura Dion Jones Show on WRMN, 1410 AM. And if you've got something to say, why not say it at 847-931-1410. So let's welcome our first guest, who is Herb Gross, president of the Elgin Theater Company. Well, welcome, Herb. I'm making you shake hands with me again. Okay. I hope they can see it. Uh, they, <laughs> I think Julie got it. Um, uh, first thing I want to ask you is how you got involved with the Elgin Theatre Company. Oh, it's been a while ago. Um, actually, it was through my daughter. She had been in children's theatre before, and then there was a part that was open in Miracle on 47th Street, and she applied for it, and she got the job of the um, little Dutch girl. And so I had been taken to her to uh, rehearsals, and uh, Around two weeks before the play was due to open, they realized they had forgotten to cast a non-speaking part, but very essential to the play, the policeman who arrested Santa Claus. Mr. Groves, because I was in one, so I became a star. <laughs> kind of like Miracle on 34th Street. 34th Street. Correct? No, yes? Yes, yes, yes. Or my fortune teller. You're a fortune teller, and I'm stupid. <laughs> what exactly uh, do you do at the Elgin Theater Company? I'm currently the president. I was vice president before that, but those duties are fairly slight. And mainly what I do in the shows, I'm the house manager, I am uh, the audition coordinator, so I send out for auditions and get people to 
come hopefully to try out. And um, I get ushers to come and see the people and concession people. And kind of the major domo of the joint, eh? Something like that. I put out fires. Uh, all the, yeah, all the bosses do that. Listen, I know you're uh, in rehearsal for a stage radio broadcast of It's a Wonderful Life, um, which I'm real excited about, and that's why you brought along your sidekick over here, Dennis Stewart, a.k.a. Mr. Potter. And um, why did you choose this play over all others? I'm less sure than when I talked to you about it before. Uh, <laughs> Basically, you didn't we tell wanted... me before when we spoke. You <laughs> said I'm saving it for the air. Go ahead. Okay. We were looking around for something to do that was the fit and odd block of time. It's only one weekend, uh, just before the season, and we chose it's a wonderful That's life. It's wonderful, and yes. you're going to do it as a radio broadcast, as a which radio is going to be broadcast. fabulous. I would love to have gotten in on that. Um, I'll put your name on the audition list. Would you please? Yes. Good. It's kind of a Blanche Dubois, kind of an anti mame but I know you already did anti mame uh, Ma Bailey, I think, is what you're up for. <laughs> <laughs> the Ma Bailey that's married to you in the It's a Wonderful Life? Well, not Donna Reed, not that, the Ma no, Bailey. No, yeah, Ma, Ma Bailey. Yeah. <laughs> Does Elton Theatre Company give acting lessons and workshops? No. Oh. We had plans for it at one time, but we really don't have the staff to do it. Uh, we have a you know, board of directors, and there's... As part of our bylaws, we have to have open auditions, so we don't have a cadre of actors that we can call on for other things. Sure. Each time, it's it's like new, mm -hmm. and so we don't. It would be hard for us to get together in any kind of a school like that. Although we have thought about it. Workshop here and there. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Beginning acting had... 101. <laughs> Come and develop your skills at ETC. You're hired. Thank you. <laughs> I'm an idea girl. You know, you can tell my, I'm Gemini, my brain is always flying. Um, what do you guys do for community outreach? In terms of putting on plays, um, that's about it. That's, I mean, a, that's a big outreach, though. Yeah. Were you involved, and I, maybe I shouldn't ask you this on air, we were going to talk about this. Were you involved in the walkabout? Did you find out? No. You weren't involved or you didn't find out? I didn't find out. <laughs> I was out of town. We were at a family reunion and this all took place during it and then afterwards. He was in the Follies though. Uh, I was in the Yeah, Follies. he was great, great singing. Uh, he, no had the, he had the best line. What did you do in the Follies? Tell us, quick. And right uh, Live on cue right now. <laughs> Why did you do singing that? Singing again. Was great. <laughs> You're on it. <laughs> Four, great. three, two, one. I was mostly in the group things. I didn't have a solo part this time. My last solo part was years ago. I voice won't sustain it, as Solange could probably tell you. A couple, of, <laughs> couple of throat sprays and a couple of brush-up lessons with Solange, and you'd be ready to rock and roll, I'm thinking. Uh -huh. Your last solo part is five seconds from now. Take it away. Yeah. Five seconds. <laughs> no. You had no. one line, though. That was all, you had one line that was all yours in the group when they're singing. Like, we lose every day, or something like that. You, what was that line? Okay, this was during a baseball play, and uh, I, I don't remember. I okay, don't remember. we'll take him off the hot All seat. Right. Listen, what else do you do in life? <laughs> well, I'm uh, on board retired. of Kiwanis. Cool. Yeah, I've been retired for 11 cool. years. That gives me the time to do all of these things. I'm a trustee at the library. Very good. Uh, you know, president of the theater club. And, Couple of other things. That's how I fill my time. 